So hey Mark, it's Steve. Here's a uh, quick demo of the uh, $24 actual real 365 nanometer LED flashlight. I need five hands to do this. I don't know um, how I'm going to do with my phone here and trying to use all my hands. Uh, this is a uh, zinc sulfide PLA uh, dual tone whistle that st sticks on my regular car chain. So that should fluoresce right and glow when the UV hits it. These are standard polycarbonate uh, safety glasses, which kind of, those are a good test to see if you actually have a real, if you look at Amazon, you'll see there's tons of uh, UV LEDs that claim to be 365 nanometers and they're really not, or they don't, they don't put out any actual energy that you want. So this is the um, part of this I can do easily with two hands. And of course the cell phone camera is not going to show this like you'd see it in real life at all. So um, I'll go ahead and turn this on. That's with the filter, and that's that's just the uh, you know, that's the UV hitting the uh, coating on the uh, tabletop or what have you. Um, these will uh, absorb quite a bit of the 365. So you see that actually glows blue when it hits it, and that's absorbing quite a bit. Uh, one really one good test to see if it's filtering is you can put these in front of what you're doing you can see there's no uh, no v no uv really getting past that or not very much some sun's going around it or whatever and then when you when you move the filter right boom <laughs> so these are effectively really absorbing a lot of the energy uh the other thing you can do is i'll switch this to a uh, lower power mode yeah, so there's low power. You can see the uh, PWM hitting the uh, cell phone, the amplifiers in the uh, cell phone camera. <laughs> um, so I'm going to see if I can remove the... Can I do this with one hand? I'm going to pull the front off with one hand. So the filter should be in there. So there's the actual LED exposed. So if you're testing a... Uh, this is on low power. If you're testing a... Uh, 365 nanometer LED. You should always see plenty of excitement on the uh, on the glasses or on the polycarbonate. It's also going to protect your eyes if you're uh, looking directly at this LED at any kind of close range. So that's one heck of a filter there. Great for testing. And then I'll I'll turn this off, and you can see the actual what LED they used in the product. So there's a it's a quad. Uh, quad die or quad whatever there's four four leds in there and it says 10 watt on the uh link it's probably actually more like one watt or one and a half watt uh, and if you look up these leds you know on digikey or somewhere legitimate where you're going to actually purchase a uh, 365 nanometer led i think they cost more than this actual product does so you can buy these flashlights and get the leds i don't know if you just want the leds but it's quite a controller that's a lithium ion battery you know, you, it's a decent flashlight, good heat sink, all, you know, plenty of brass in there to uh, dissipate the heat. But 24 bucks, the real deal, at the actual LED that you want for this kind of stuff. And with the filter, it's awesome because in, in a dark room, the filter, you don't see a lot of visible light coming out, but everything around you just glows like crazy. Anyhow, take care.